In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I like to run the Y cross concept out of the empty bunch wide in Madden. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. What's going on guys? Like I said in this video, we're in the empty bunch wide out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. And we're gonna be going over and discussing how you can run the uh, Y crossing concept, the air raid staple Y cross, um, and make it very successful for you in Madden, uh, in Madden 21 and ultimately in Madden 22. Now real quick before we dive any further in this video, I wanna let you know that if you wanna get my entire five wide scheme, uh, out of the empty bunch wide all you got to do is you can get it for free all you gotta do is text the word madden to 208-218-6900 that number is top in the top of the screen it's also in the description and it's my personal phone number and what we do is every single week i release offenses and defenses to uh, my text message members so we're going to be doing that for madden 22 we released over 20 schemes in madden 21 you'll get all of them as soon as you text the word madden to 208 218-6900, including Empty Bunch Wide. And we're also gonna be doing, planning to do over 45 schemes already planned for Madden 22. Okay guys, so let's talk about this concept. This is the Y crossing uh, concept. This concept is uh, it's really just one of my favorites of all time. So uh, you don't really need to do anything. I personally like to use Spacing Switch to set this up. You do need Hot Rod Master. If you don't have Hot Rod Master, you can use Post Corner Read, and we'll show you how to do it out of Post Corner Read in just a second. But spacing switch is where we're going to kind of start the, the breakdown. So you want to be on the left hash. If you're on the right hash, you just want to flip this. This is really, really good against Mabel coverage. And I mean really, really, really good uh, against Mabel coverage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the... X receiver, uh, and we're going to put him on a crossing route, just like this, okay, a deep crossing route. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the circle receiver, and we're going to put him on a smart routed dig route. And then from there, um, you can do kind of whatever you want with the tight end. The triangle receiver is always going to be on a fade, um, or a, um, or not a fade, I'm sorry, a hitch. And then the square receiver is always going to be on a streak, okay, just like that, real simple. Now, um, on, this, on this right side, you can do whatever you want with the tight end. If you want to, you can put him on a flat route. If you don't want to, you can leave him on this hitch. Normally, he's going on a flat route. Okay, normally he's going on a flat route. It just helps a lot with the spacing of the play. And what you're gonna see is, we're just gonna motion circle to the outside. And this is a really, really good concept against the male coverage. So I actually put my cloud flats on 30 yards for this video. And it's mainly so that I can show you what this crossing route is really going to do uh, when you can actually really run this the way it's meant to be ran. So uh, because we can use uh, spacing switch, you'll see that what I can do is I can actually leave the square receiver on his route. And what he'll do is he'll serve us as a, um, a, a man beater and a zone beater. So against man, will run an out cut. Against zone, you see what he does right there. You'll see that what it does, though, is it allows me to throw that the underneath hitch route th allows me to throw that crosser over the top of a 30 yard uh, zone drop which i really really think is super underrated so i'll see again we're just going to put sir or x on that on that route and it's a true right or left to right read so you know we're looking you know first things first we're looking to the streak can we throw that streak uh, against cover three occasionally we'll be able to get that um, but as you can see, the, the number one route is obviously the crosser. Uh, now, real quick, a little pro tip uh, about this is if we're on the if we're on the other hash mark, let me show you how this play works. It's a little bit different to hash mark to hash mark. And normally, if I'm on the short side of the field like this, I actually will typically leave the tight end on his route. Um, and the reason why is because it's better spacing. Uh, it's just better spacing, in my opinion. Uh, one thing you can do now is if you watch how we work this time, what you're going to see is this is a really special play to that square receiver. You'll see that square um, is going to absolutely bomb cover three over the top for a one play touchdown. So 
that's what makes this so good against cover three Mabel is not only do you have the crosser that is a really good route, but what you're going to force your opponent to do is your opponent is going to start to be forced to deep half. And real quick, just before we go any further, most people, when they get burned by cover three, they don't necessarily know that it's a short side or wide side bomb. So they're going to do this deep half adjustment on the outside corners, kind of regardless of what hash mark you're on. And what that's going to do for our offense is it's going to make it just another uh, just another headache for them to defend. So you're going to see now, if you watch this crosser, um, not only is the crosser open, but if you, and I, I had a bad uh, animation, but this is a real special uh, treat for you. Uh, so... So not only is your crosser open, but again, real quick, understand, they're going to deep half once you bomb them once or twice. So they're deep half and they're gonna say, okay, you know, I've got, I've got square covered because I put a deep half over there. Not exactly. I want you to watch the square receiver at the snap of the ball. I'm just gonna lob it over the top on the left side. And as you can see, I can get this animation every single time. What's gonna basically happen is because of the, because of the glitchy alignment that is this uh, coverage, uh, what you're gonna get a lot, especially when you run this to the right hash mark, which is my preferred way to run this, is you're going to get this uh, hitch is gonna basically hold that D-pad for just a second, and then you're just gonna lob it over the top. And at that point, it's a speed matchup. Now, as you see, Evans is a little slow, but if that was Scotty Miller, that would be a little bit more consistent uh, as far as a one play score. Uh, one little other little thing that you can do is, um, whoops, you can put him on a, uh, a fade instead of a streak. So you see a fade, um, see that right there? And of course, Brady, Brady just doesn't have the stinking arm strength. Let me show you that one more time. But again, you're seeing that he's freezing, he's glitching out. Uh, that's, that's the idea. So this is one of the real special uh, secrets of this formation is what it can do to cover three. And it's one of the reasons why Bunch has been good for years because of what it can do uh, against the cover three. Because of these crossers, um, again, you'll see. And now I want you to watch it. Look how he just freezes. That's a deep half. That's not an outside third. That's a deep half. He's freezing even though I've put him into a, uh, a deep half zone. So I think that's really powerful. Um, you're going to get them out of cover three. You're going to get them out of cover four, or um, not cover four, but you're going to get them out of cover three. And what you're likely to do is you're likely to force them into a cover four because they can't play cover two against this formation. It's way too effective against cover two. But look at this deep half. Just absolute roast over the top, and you're just catching and running. And as you see, you're killing it. You're killing, you're killing deep half, and you're killing cover three. So now let's spend just a, a brief moment here on cover four. Cover four is really good. Um, I'm not, it, it is a good coverage. It's something that I run a lot. And I just want you to show you the routes against the cover four. The problem with the cover four is as you can see, we're still able to bomb this on this fade route. And I got to show it to you one more time, but we can bomb cover four. You just have to really be paying attention a little bit um, because you have to make a really aggressive pass lead. This idea of, and I've talked about this before, if he's even, is leaving. So if he's even, he's leaving. So because of the grid system and because we're to the short side, our, our bunch, our three set is to the short side, um, I want you to watch this square receiver. So just snap, he's even, lob it outside, and just let him outrun him, and that's what you're going to get that animation right there. So not only are you bombing cover two, or uh, cover three, cover three invert now you're bombing cover four and let's go over cover two while we're at it and I'll show you if they put this cover two is the harder one to bomb in my opinion um, cover two actually is not gonna be bad and we'll show you but cover two is gonna give up the crosser I mean, way too easily so if they go cover two just real quick he gets even pass lead outside you see I can't quite get it out there Cover two is not as susceptible to bomb by this play, but we have so many other options against cover two. We can, for example, we can go to the play um, post corner read, and now we can leverage you know some of our other routes on the on this thing, or we can go to drive corner and run run the the R one route, which we've talked about that before. You know, there's a lot of options that we ha we have if they start to run a lot of cover two. That being said. 
Um, I want to spend just a, a brief second on this cover two, cover two look, and I want to show you that if you get a look like that, that's cover two, cover two Mabel basically. Um, what you're going to see is this crosser. You'll see that once he runs, pass lead up, click on, gets over the top of that cover two cloud. So this passing play is like the amoeba passing play. I mean, you absolutely glitch cover four, cover three, and cover three invert. They have to run cover two, and you glitch it over the top for 50 yards. So what are they going to do, right? Well, they're going to run man-to-man. -man. Well, that's a real stupid decision. Um, if they run man-to-man -man on this, they're going to get killed. So, again, it's the same setup. Nothing changes for the quarterback. Um, but this motion out. And I just want you to watch here. You've got this little, um, or this crosser that's going to kill man. And then you also have your dig. Um, that What I like about that dig, especially when I motion it out, um, especially, especially when I motion out, the dig will kill uh, this coverage. So, and, and I want to I want to go over one little pro tip against cover two in just a second, or cover two man in just a second. But watch this, watch this dig, inside position, easy read. So wherever the user doesn't go. Now I want to show you one little thing. And that is uh, out of this cover two man, what you'll see is you'll see purples and then they're going to do um, clouds. Okay, just like that. Now I want you to watch, a really, really important, I want you to watch the left side safety uh, whenever we run this play. So it's shaded coverage up man, so pretty decent. But watch the safety on the left side. Watch the crosser. See how the safety, I mean, of course, Brady can't get the ball off. But the, the safety will sit inside because of the hitch route. Because of the hitch route, um, the safety is going to sit inside. So we'll show you this, and I just want you to see this idea. Because you, what you've done is now they got to play man, but they can't really play man. Um, this formation is really good against man-to-man. -man. You know, you've really put them in a bind, but I just want you to watch the X. So you see here, just pass lead it up, and you see the cloud flat is about 10 yards behind the crosser, even though the cloud flat is at 30 yards. It's because of the hitch route and the fade concept. Those two together with the crosser are really, really good. So this is how you run Y cross. I just want to go over one more time um, the two types of cover three beaters that you have. The first one is cover three Mabel um, without, without changing any of the deep zones. I want you to watch, we're just fading square hitching um, triangle that's the play art snap the ball and if you wait on this you'll see he's just going to stop running pass lead it to the left and you're beating Mabel coverage over the top for a one play score and then the last thing I want to show you I just want to reiterate this um, is when they do the deep halves and actually I want to I want to just show this real quick it's um, match just so you can see it but this is um, when they do deep halves. And I just want to reiterate how good this is. Watch the square receiver. He's going to get a free release. Pass lead in, or lob it over the top to the left. Click on. As you see, we're beating cover three invert over the top for a one play score. Most people think that that defense can't be bombed. We just showed you that it could be. And then the last thing I want to do just real quick is, is hit match coverage. Just because I want you to see that the cool part about empty bunch wide, in my opinion, is that everything is good against everything. There's not a there's not a passing concept in the in the formation that does not beat every coverage um, consistently. But anyways, I just want to go over this, um, and this is mostly hot routes. Honestly, um, really, we're calling it for the you know the if you ever wanted to kind of mess with some of these hitches and stuff. But anyway, cover for match. So I want you to watch left side. What you'll see here is you have a free release to the outside and they get confused. And as you can see, you can blob this up over the top. Really important tip. That route right there has to be thrown early. Again, you have to understand match coverage. They're uh, dropping and then they're saying, oh, I'm in match, right? Uh, based off what the route is. So they're not gonna know what to do right off rip. So you see this little kind of glitch right there, just lob it to the left and see how you get a couple yards on him and you're beating match over the top for a one-play score. So you beat cover four match. You beat cover four quarters. You be, or uh, cover four show two zone drop. You beat cover three. You beat cover three invert. The only defense they can, you beat man to man. The only defense they can potentially run is cover two. 
and have any level of success if they use the crosser, which is going to open up the dig. This play is awesome. Check it out. If you want to get the full Ipti Bunch 5 wide guide, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900, and I guarantee you you're going to start getting better at this game. We're going to release so much content in Madden 22, so I hope you're ready for it. Thanks for your support, and if you want to get the 5 wide guide, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.